Our first recipient is a seventh grader, and he was nominated by Ms. Black, our seventh grade English teacher, R.J. Villarreal. Ms. Black says R.J. exemplifies all of the qualities of a great leader, all of the qualities a great leader should embody. He's helpful to all of his classmates, even his teacher, and R.J. works really hard in class and always strives to do better. Congratulations, R.J. Can you step? Uh, next we have a sixth grader, Diego Beta Cool. He is being nominated by Mr. DeVore, his science teacher. Mr. DeVore says, Diego is an amazing young man academically and behaviorally. He's always on task and working hard on whatever assignment we have. Not only does Diego have great grades, but he helps those in the class that are struggling to grasp a concept. Diego is one of the first students that I call on to assess others, and he does a great job at it. And he is what an MLCPA scholar is meant to be. Congratulations, sir. Next we have our seventh grader, Raul Rosa, nominated by Mr. Dallas. He says Raul is awesome sauce. He is relent relentlessly dedicated to his academics and works diligently to produce high quality work. He also brings a refreshing sense of humor, which makes it a joy to have him in class. Congratulations, sir. Next up, we have another seventh grader, Diego Barron, or Barron, maybe pronouncing that incorrectly, nominated by Miss Father Boy. And she says, Diego is a hardworking, responsible young scholar. I appreciate that he knows how to prioritize his work and is sincere in his efforts. I think this skill will take him very far in life. Congratulations. This one is a little long. <laughs> this is from uh, Mr. Garza, our 11th grade math teacher, and our recipient is Brian Moreno. He said, Brian was the first student to approach him about taking college courses while being in high school in the college readiness class. He is currently taking college courses right now. Brian is one of the very few students who has earned my respect and admiration for his hard work and dedication in my class. Brian has also been appointed as one of the One Goal Ambassadors for my college readiness class because of his hard work and leadership that he displays in the class daily. He was also one of the first students in my class to sign up for the opportunities to learn more on how to take steps to get closer to his future, like studying abroad, taking college courses, signing up for scholarships, or taking on leadership positions. It is my pleasure to nominate Brian Moreno for his hard work, leadership, and dedication. Congratulations. That's really awesome, and for our juniors in the room, that's what it should look like. Those are the kind of things that we should be doing. Yes? Yes. <laughs> Next up is one of our ninth graders, Caleb Martinez. Caleb was nominated by Mr. GC. He says Caleb maintains an A average, completes all his work all the time. He shows outstanding citizenship, very respectful, very cheerful, and he's also a peer tutor. Congratulations, Caleb. He is so telling the truth. Caleb has been with us in sixth grade and he smiles like that all the time. <laughs> Next, we have another 11th grader. Yay! Uh, Nicholas Pena, nominated by Mr. LaFarette. Mr. LaFarette says Nicholas has really excelled in my class this year, showing his creativity while mastering the concepts. He has been a huge help to his peers and has worked with several of them troubleshooting their program and tutoring them in and out of class. Congratulations, Nicholas. Next, we have one of our sixth graders, Jordan Brown, nominated by Mr. Pryor, our robotics instructor. He said Jordan is very hardworking and responsible scholar. 
I believe he is an entrepreneur in the making, and I appreciate his leadership skills and his work ethic, and he will go far in life, and we definitely believe that about Jordan. Congratulations, Jordan. Next, we have a seventh grader, Samaj Watts, nominated by Ms. Ryan, our magnet coordinator. She says, every time I see Samaj, he is always smiling. I rarely meet students who have such a positive outlook. He has great school spirit, and he is a vital member of our night nice team. Congratulations, sir. This young man has also been with us in sixth grade, and he was extremely surprised that he was on our list. So, Oscar Castro, nominated by Mr. Sacedo. <laughs> Mr. Sacedo said, I first taught Oscar two years ago, and I have seen a great deal of improvement academically since then. In Spanish class, he has been constantly writing great essays in preparation for the Spanish AP exam. His essays show excellence in grammar, mechanics, and also in content. I can always use his writings as an example to students that are struggling. Congratulations, Oscar. <laughs> Next, we have another 11th grader, Arshid Patel, nominated by Mr. Schultz. Mr. Schultz says he is a very hard worker. He's turned in all of his work. It is always on time. He has never received anything late from Harshee. Thank you very much, sir. Congratulations. Awesome. Next we have Cameron Lane. Cameron is an eighth grader here and he is nominated by Mr. Toller our 8th grade math, math teacher. He says Cameron is consistently on the top scholar, one of the top scholars in his class. He completes all of his assignments on time and is always willing to help others that are struggling. Congratulations, Cameron. And then last we have Anton Perkins. Anton is new to our campus this year, 10th grade, 10th grader, nominated by Mr. Rose, our art teacher. He says Anton has an incredible amount of it, has shown an incredible amount of improvement in my class. His work, work ethic, can't speak now, has been impressive and actively participates in my class. Congratulations, sir. Parents, students, friends, teachers that are gathered, we present to you our Cycle 2 Gold Tie Award nominees and now recipients. Congratulations, guys.